Hey everybody, uh, quick little video for you to show you uh, how I'd like you to do the exercise one assignment. So, exercise, I'm sorry, assignment number one. I'm <laughs> getting my glasses confused. Okay, so for assignment number one, you need to do uh, three recordings, one recording for each microphone. So here I'm gonna show you how to do recording number one. I've got the dynamic mic, I've got the cable, I've got the recorder. This is actually the last recorder we have and it doesn't work, so it's mostly just, it's just like a floor model, so I'm not, I won't be able to actually turn it on, but you can see me go through the motions. So, basically just uh, plug into your microphone. Let's just call this microphone number one. Plug in the recorder, turn the recorder on, Make sure that you uh, are in either mic mode or mic plus phantom mode, depending on whether it's a, it's a, a dynamic or a condenser mic. This is a dynamic mic, so I'm just doing it in regular uh, mic mode. Okay, so the way this works is uh, when you turn it on, what we've talked about in class so far is this. Every microphone has sort of a sweet spot. So for dynamic mics, that sweet spot is holding it basically about three fingers below your, uh, below your chin. This is the sweet spot of this microphone. So go ahead and get a mic test. Just press record once so the record button is blinking but not recording and go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three and get your levels set. Right? Okay. Now, what I want you to do is this. Once you've done that, and you get your level set to where they should be, and you should know this by now, uh, so I'm not going to tell you, uh, then go ahead and hit record. Now do this. Microphone one, dynamic microphone. Here is the sentence I am doing for this project, one inch. Here is the sentence I'm doing for this mi for this microphone, five inches. Here's the sentence I'm doing for this microphone, 10 inches. Here is the sentence I am doing for this microphone, uh, I forgot what the next one was, <laughs> uh, five feet. Here is the sentence I am doing for this microphone, 10 feet. Then hit stop. You will have now created one recording and done all of the distances for microphone number one. Now, unplug that microphone. And now plug in your lavalier microphone. That could be microphone number two. Get a mic check for the sweet spot, which would be uh, the mid chest area. And then after you do that, hit record. Uh, hit record and make sure you're actually recording and go Microphone number two, lavalier. This is my sentence for this microphone, one inch. This is my se sentence for this microphone, five inches. This is the sentence for the microphone, 10 inches. And then put it on a table and say, this is the sentence for that microphone, five feet. This is the sentence for the microphone, 10 feet. And then hit stop. Now you will have created a second audio file specifically for the lavalier mic and the distances for that lavalier mic. Then do the same thing again for microphone number three, the shotgun. And we all know the sweet spot for the shotgun. It's about, like I said, about, I always say 12 to 18 inches. So, you know, basically we usually hold the shotgun microphone just above the person's head. That's sort of the sweet spot, that distance. And it was just about, depending on the size of the head, <laughs> it's about 12 to 18 inches. So hold about 12 to 18 inches away from your mouth, get the mic check, and then do what you did before. Hit record, and then say, microphone three, shotgun mic. This is the sentence for this microphone, one inch. This is the sentence for this microphone, five inches. This is the sentence for this microphone, 10 inches. And then put it on a table and say, this is the sentence for this microphone, uh, five feet. This is the sentence for this microphone, 10 feet. 
hit stop, and then now you will have three audio files, one for each microphone. Now the second step of this uh, project is to get the files into your computer and to rename them. Now, if you've ever, uh, if you basically on a Mac, uh, when the file is on your computer, you click on it or you right click on it and a little pop-up comes up and you can choose rename. So for the handheld mic, we like calling that vocal. Vocal TK01, vocal take 01. For the lavalier, we'll call it lav. TK01, lavalier take 01. For the shotgun, we would put, um, because we like to keep our letters, you know, we don't like it to be a long thing. Instead of shotgun, we'll just call it boom. Boom TK01, boom take 01. And then uh, your three files are done. And the only thing you have to do after that is listen to them and write a report. Listen to them closely, listen to them critically, and determine which microphone you think sounds the best and why. Which microphone, what are the strengths of each microphone at the different distances? Maybe, maybe the, the dynamic sounds really good close. Maybe it sounds really good far away. Why is that? Maybe the lav sounds good close. Maybe it sounds good far away. Why is that? Maybe the shotgun sounds distorted really close and it sounds actually really good far away. Why is that? These are the things I want you to listen to and using what you know about microphones, determine the answers to these questions um, in the report. And again, the assignment is up there and examples of uh, what questions you need to answer are up there. And everything I just showed you on this video is also up there in textual form. So um, there you go. Good luck. Uh, I believe you've got another two weeks. Actually, it's another few weeks to do this, but this is probably a good time to get started now, um, now that you've had the microphones for a while. All right. Good luck, and I'll see you next week.